वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू माय नेम इज़ रेशमा राजन दोहार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट ए डिपार्टमेंट सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज अवर बेसिक्स ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो हियर दिज आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग फर्स्ट वन मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट सेकेंड स्टैंडर्ड लाइब्ररीज देन प्री प्रोसेसर डायरेक्टिव हाइडर फाइल्स कंपाइल एंड लिंक एंड आईडीज एंड कंपाइलर्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट सो सी रिक्वायर्स मैनुअल मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट व्हिच मींस दैट प्रोग्रामर्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अलोकेटिंग एंड डी अलोकेटिंग ऑफ द मेमोरी एक्सप्लिसिटली सो वाइल दिस प्रोवाइडिंग or provides a control over a memory usage it also requires careful management to avoid memory leaks and other issues such as in garbage collection of that particular memory in the system so for that we requires careful management to avoid such a memory issues then uh, our next point is standard library so there are in c programming many more standard libraries are get used but basically the c comes with a standard library that provides a set of functions and macros for common task like input output string manipulation memory allocations and mathematical operations such as an stdio.h or standard libraries or for maths uh, mathematical function we can use the math library or for the graphics library we can use the matplotlib then these functions are available across different platforms making it easier to write cross platform code so this is the standard library next one is what is preprocessor directives so c includes a preprocessor that perform text manipulation before the actual compile compilations process so the preprocessor directives are used to include header files define constants and perform conditional compilations then the next point is header files so header files contains declarations for functions their data types and macros so that are defined in other source files also so they provide a way to share declarations across multiple source files then uh, what is compile and link so c programs are typically written in source files with the c extensions so this is most important whenever we have to save the file so we have to use dot c extension for the c program saving file in a as an source file so the compilations process involves converting the source code into machine readable binary code which is stored in object file with the dot o extensions see the difference between the source file and the object file the source file it will have a .c extension and object file is having a .o extension so these object files are then linked together to create the final executable the next point is ide so ide it is nothing but there are the various integrated development programs or the environments integrated development environments which are known as a platform where we can compile or run our program so it is an environment which is gives the programmers to save run compile their codes and the compilers are available for c programming so popular choices including gcc that is gnu compiler collection and microsoft visual studios so these are the basic one and c line is an option one okay thank you